<laughs> she wanted to be on YouTube, y'all. Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Jeremy for dinner, and we are in Dallas, Texas at the DSC, the Dallas Safari Club. Well, we're here having a good time, learning so much about the conservation of animals worldwide that Dallas Safari Club is so responsible for. This place is awesome. Last week, we were at our house in Mississippi and we traveled from Mississippi down to uh, just east of Montgomery, a place called the Black Belt. You can see it from space. The Black Belt is like this area in between a, a sandy soil and a rocky soil. And right in between is a black, rich, fertile soil known as the Black Belt. When I was a kid, me and my dad, we'd go down there and we'd hunt like Eufaula, uh, Barber County, Tuskegee. It was a big part of my growing up. And so when I was at the Buckmasters event, I met Rhett who works for the Black Belt and they invited me down. This is Brett and that's Flamingo. We got some big hands this week. <laughs> the very first thing when we went down there, I had to set up my bow. Freaking really good. Really nice Old bear nice execute, y'all. This is straight out of the box. 290. Dang, gone. We almost hit the 300 mark. You gotta make now. one crank on it. Make it 300. <laughs> I gotta introduce y'all to somebody. What's your name? Nolan. This is Nolan right here. He cut my arrows. He sold me on these arrows. He said these arrows are natural born killers. If you put it in the right spot. Now We're in the on. black belt, y'all. We got deer to kill. We got some big ones out here. Got some giants. You guys, I came in here to buy arrows, and I'm leaving with like three sticks and three tree stands, all kinds of stuff. If you ever hunted in a tree, you know that I'm buying the best. Hey, you guys, we're here. This is the Alabama Black Belt. I want to introduce y'all to somebody. This is Mr. Hall. <laughs> He's approximately six months my senior, so I will That's refer right. to him as Mr. Hall. This is this, thing. this is his dad right here. Welcome. Mr. Hall, Welcome. I've grown up hunting the Black Belt. You're gonna find out in this show why this is the Black Belt. You can see it from space. All these young characters. See this kid right here? We're gonna be duck hunting. He swears <laughs> to me that duck hunting is better here than in Oklahoma. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's debatable, but we're going to find out. These are all their friends, and I got this. This came in the mail today. Hold on. Let me show you all what came in the mail today. Look at this. I haven't actually looked at this yet. The Burris Eliminator 6. Look at that. Oh my gosh.
just happened like in an instant. Holy smokes. I'm just sitting here and all of a sudden, here comes this big old gigantic hog through the hardwoods. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> the old Beretta BRX1, the 308. We came in here a few weeks ago on this stand. Worked out perfect. Look at this, man. Humongous freaking hog. That's one of the biggest hogs I've ever seen. Big old fat barren sow. I need a team of pack mules to get this hog out of here. After I shot that big old hog, we headed back to the camp. We got it all set up. And then that afternoon, I hunted with Aria. But all we saw were does and some young bucks. But that night, we had an amazing party. We cooked deer meat, we fellowship, we just had a great time. That was a day I'll never forget. This is for the dogs. These are just scraps that Robert cut off in the back strap, so we're saving it for the dogs. All right, I just want to thank everybody for being here, guys. Uh, I want to thank, you know, past new friends. Uh, this has been awesome for us. Much pleasure for you guys. Oh, yeah. Really looking forward to the rest of the week. Uh, couldn't ask for, you know, a nicer group of people to come to town and meet us. And so we just love that. Um, Pam, thank you for putting this together. Uh, we really appreciate that too. Brett, all the work you guys have done. Uh, let's bless it. Hold on. I want to say one thing real quick before we do that. I want to say something too after you. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. We're going to draw. I'll tell you this. When I was at Buckmasters and Mr. Brett came over and said, let's do something. My dad, I don't know where dad is. He's, He's probably over right here. He's pants, man. <laughs> 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 when I was a little kid, young kid, we always came up to Alabama, and that was one of my favorite times like of my life, going to Fiesta Key in the Keys, Lofstrand as a family, and coming to Alabama was a very special time. So when you came to me and you said, hey, would you want to do something? And Miss Pam, you don't know me, but you took a chance and said, hey, let's, let's do it. And then, you know, due to timing, everything got mixed up. We have so many things going on. And you said, I don't have an outfitter, but we have a private family that have offered their ranch. And I came here not knowing what, what was anything, but when I came here and met you, you're a special human. This is a special a property. And this is a special opportunity that I'd like to thank everyone for allowing me to come here. I got my mother and father-in-law, and we got my mom and my dad, we got my wife and my kids, and all my new friends here. I really appreciate you guys, and thank you very much for opening your home and your land and your cabin. Thank you for making us feel like your family, and we really appreciate that. Our food, I'll zoom in right on on Dude, your face. Like I'm, like, I'm joking. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> 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 one bit the dust, but we got another one. that 
has the, it's got a weird white color mixed in. Bet, 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 shoot the colored one. If he bet, 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 You see the one on the left? You that was your shot. Twenty twenty four is gonna be a good year. This is gonna be my year. Where are your Uber drivers? What'd you get? She's getting she dressed. We're all going to go to a restaurant, the oh, John oh, oh. Hall place. Okay, okay. You want to stop on it with you or vice versa? It don't matter. Come on. Can't wait. Look at your first time. Where's the hog? Here, here. I'm not really believing this. Yeah. Robert's like, y'all shot a buck. Big old sow. It is a sow. Good I, job, honey. I thought I hit the uh I thought it was a poor hog. Good job, hon. Thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is the box blind that we were sitting in tonight. And I shot her right at the edge of this food plot. But there's a lot of hog rooting in there. Well, she bailed and went so far. I'm like really curious to see how far she went. So, let's see. Mark there, drop point. I'm going to say she was in here a little ways because we dragged her. Out already. 163 yards. That's insane. Now Rob's coming with the side by side. He knows where we're at, but it's. Uh, hi, Camo! No, slow down, slow down. Go to the right. Hard right, hard right. Now stay straight on the road. It is a little bit. Gigantic hog full of fat. That's like the fattest hog I've ever killed in my life. That's not a bar. But I can't show cleaning on the main video. If you want to watch that, it'll be pretty interesting. Click on the link in the description below and I'll show you everything. If not, we'll see you in the kitchen. Dude, that is crazy. Yeah, that one's gonna eat good. A lot of this hog, we're gonna eat the whole thing, but I'm about to make something amazing. We wanna come in right like this, just about to there, come down, like that, and we're gonna basically fillet that right off. Get a little bit of meat in there. The meat's gonna be amazing. Come around.
let's go cook this. This thing right here is worth its weight in gold. I actually keep this at my house in, El in Mississippi. It's a bioclassic. This is a fryer. And under here is a warming tray. But right up here, this is wild fat back. And so literally, we'll come in here about this wide and just cut strips like this. Now this would basically be like your bacon off a wild animal. Have you ever had fat back like this? I have not. This is probably my favorite thing in the world. I'm pretty excited. Are you? Yeah. You like bacon? I love hey, bacon. Hey, drop a thumbs up if you like bacon. If you enjoy eating bacon, like when you go to a diner, they say, you want bacon or you want sausage? Click like if you hit bacon, because I'm a bacon eater. Same. This is Cracker Boy, the original. And this, oh, this is spicy. So my girl would be like, uh oh, no, that's spicy, dad. So we want it to salt it up. Then we want to season it up with whatever you got. A lot of this is going to come off in the in the grease, so it's okay. You just take this, roll it around like that, and we'll hit it over here. Look at that. That's a free jumper right there. That's a free jumper. Float our fire down. We got it to about 300 degrees. And then we just take this right here, just like that, and put it in the pan, not all of it. This one right here, it's going in the pan. We want everything to start cooking down. Now, that's actually, as it cooks slowly, it's gonna add oil to the fire. It's gonna render down, leave you a crunchy nugget of heaven. They thought my name was Brett, so they started calling me Mr. Bread. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys, it's all good. Let's turn the fire down. We got our wild bacon ready to go. That's what it all boils down to right there. Not a lot, but it's quantity over quality. Take you some seasoning. This stuff right here is called Cracker Boy, the original. It's not spicy, but it's made right here in the Alabama Black Belt as well. The owner of this farm, his name is Pete Hall. Him and his son Fleming, who's like this world-class baseball player, they just pulled up and they have no idea any of this is going on. That's what did you do, get a facial before you came? No. You guys, I want to introduce y'all real quick. This right here is Mr. Pete Hall, okay? Yes. He's become a good friend of mine. This guy right here, he's Auburn baseball. Yes, sir. This is Pete Fleming, but you need to call him Flamingo for now on, because. <laughs> R and Emma only call him Flamingo. How old are you? 17. And where do you want to go to baseball? Auburn. <laughs> War Eagle, baby. Yes, War Eagle. So uh, I've really had a good time getting to know you. What's your Instagram? Uh, Fleming Hall. T ladies, stay off his Instagram. Don't be private messaging. <laughs> this kid's really in invested in baseball, football, fishing, and hunting. So yes, sir. Here you go. Pull this uh, out of here. The, uh, the potatoes you cook for us the other night? Just. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll go with Take that. Take a piece. Take a piece. All right. Here you go. Oh, right, yeah. Well, I'll let you try. Oh, is this jerky? You crack it? Oh, pork rind. This is yeah. Holy That's crap. your favorite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. That's fantastic. That's yeah. awesome. Solid. How? Isn't that good? <laughs> that you oh, yeah. Is that the hog you just killed? That's the hog that I killed. You're kidding. I swear to God. The one that wasn't done, remember? <laughs> yeah, the, the one I said it couldn't be done? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, are these the, uh, the potatoes you cooked for us the other night? Just. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll go with Take that. Take a piece. Take a piece. All right. Here you go. Oh, right. yeah. I'll let you try. Oh, is this jerky? You crack it? Oh, pork rind. This rhyme. is big, yeah. Holy it's crap. It's your favorite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was good. That's fantastic. That's yeah. awesome. Is that the hog you just killed? That's the hog that I killed. You're kidding. I swear to God. The one that wasn't <laughs> remember? Yeah, the, the one I said it couldn't be done? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, let me get a That's second straight piece. Yeah, I didn't know. Out of the wood. That's a straight 250 pound <laughs> out of sound. Right there. So here in the Black Belt, this land is so fertile. They have a lot of mass, hickory nuts, acorns and whatnot. And the hogs have moved in heavily. 
And the hogs adversely affect the turkeys, the quail, and the deer. So anytime you have the opportunity, you take a hog out. When that hog came by, I ain't killed one like this in a long time, man. Yeah. I'll let the uh, Pre Preferably what we'd love to do is trap them to take out the whole sounder. But uh, we don't have that opportunity. We want guys like you to come I didn't in have there a, I didn't have a trap in my one. hand, not a rifle. <laughs> well, you did indeed. Do you represent other outfitters? What do you represent? So we represent 23 counties that stretch from Mississippi to Georgia. And again, we're, we're called the Black Belt because of the uh, fertile dark soil. We uh, represent 23 counties throughout the state, the central part of the state. And we uh, promote outdoor recreation, whether it's hunting, fishing, Hiking, biking, birding. Or the loving nine, every day. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. The whole nine yards, anything outside. It's a pretty rural part of the state. So, you know, outdoor recreation is a, a big part of what we're about. Flamingo! Flamingo! Oh! Hey, hey y'all. Somebody found a new friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. Dude, that is good. Good stuff. Isn't oh, that good? That was awesome. Pam, did you get a piece? The point is, the point is, the hunting opportunities are amazing here. When you come in, you can be hunting a trophy whitetail in a trophy hog walkout, and you shoot the hog. So you have a you have a lot of things that you can hunt and have a good time. It's past most of the hunting that we do is in November and December. It's past that, so it really opens up some new opportunities for us. And look. I want to tell you thank you very, very much. Oh, man. You guys have become fast friends. I feel like your family already. Yeah. Man, appreciate you guys coming down well, there. Well, hopefully he's playing baseball at Auburn because I want to come watch that. Yeah, he'll oh, be yeah, there. Well. If you need land, what all do you do? You, you call an expert in the field to let them tell you and narrow down the type of land and where you want to be that fits the needs for your family. And what we want to do is, is sell you something just like it's been for our family. You know, you're going to create a memory. The, the value of owning land right now is not necessarily in the, the monetary investment as much as it is the memories that you create with people like you guys. My sons, the, the life lessons I've been able to pass down to them just by getting out in the woods and hunting. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. Well, look, Alabama Black Belt. Yes, sir. John Hall Company. You got it. Everybody in Deer Meat for Dinner Land, I love you guys. Hey, check great this week. guy out on Facebook and Instagram. This is Fleming Hall, and if he plays for Auburn, I'm going to be watching. Yeah. Take yes, care. Sir. God bless. And we are... Good.